Welcome to day 15 of our 21 day prayer and devotion. We've been talking about prayer. We talked about the power of prayer. We talked about how do we make our prayers powerful. But there is another interesting thing that I want to discuss today and tomorrow. Um in Luke chapter 11 or Matthew chapter 6, you see the same incident being recorded by two gospel writers that the disciples walked up to Jesus one day and asked him one of the most important questions that they could ask Jesus. Lord teach us to pray. It's um uh, it's interesting that they saw they heard Jesus preach one of the greatest sermons ever preached. They saw G- they watched Jesus uh, doing miracles, all kinds of miracles, raising up dead people, healing lepers and sick people and you know all that and yet they chose to ask him teach us to pray. It's definitely because they saw that the power that Jesus receives to do all the things that he is doing to say all the things that he is saying is through prayer and that's why they asked him we just to pray truth is this that most of us don't really understand the purpose of prayer i want to talk about the purpose of prayer you know why do we need to pray uh because if you don't understand the power of prayer uh, the purpose of prayer your prayers become meaningless they you need to understand that the prayers are life support system for us but if you don't understand that clearly with clarity then um, you don't enjoy praying it becomes more obligatory more uh, more of a nuisance to us that's why you need to learn the purpose of prayer you see um, typically our prayers are um, like genie in the bottle prayers uh, you know it's almost as if okay our wish is god's command and kind i of think Uh, god i want you to do this i want you to do that i want you to do these i want you to do those those kind of prayers we ask as if we're treating god as a genie or our prayers are like fire extinguisher prayers it's like okay i i you know i messed up there's some problem here there's an emergency here can you do can you do something about it's like a parachute prayer you know um we are glad the parachute is there but we'll never we hope that we'll never have to use that kind of prayers um we only when it is really difficult we come when everything else is failed uh when there is a really big trouble then we'll come and finally pray uh that's usually typically how we pray or we pray like sales pitch prayers um like trying to sell god uh, to give us the best um you know on what what is the best to give us kind of thing like like um you know like the children who ask parents for um uh, okay mm, one more tv show before going to bed i want to i want to just watch a little more time 10 more minutes may i have a glass of water um I, i'll be good if you let me go to uh, my friend's party in a kind of we negotiate with god to get things done um are like a religious duty prayers of course that i pray because i had to pray it's my duty these are boring routine empty meaningless guilt trip prayers no wonder we we don't really pray most often we don't understand the importance of and the purpose of prayer i want to give you a few reasons as to why we need to pray today we will look at few tomorrow we will look at few more uh the first reason why we need to pray is because prayer is an adoration pray we are all unworthy of god's attention we need to remember that and yet god chooses to listen to us therefore the first purpose of prayer is expressing our adoration to him it is it is coming to god for the privilege that he has given to us to come to him and talk to him and worship him prayer is an act of worship it's coming to god and saying god we are uh in humility we are saying god we know we are worthless we don't deserve this opportunity we have not earned this you as a gracious god gave this opportunity to us you as a wonderful father has done all these great things in our lives good things in our lives um god is certainly worthy of our praise our adoration and our worship while we can praise god in song we can also praise god in prayer if you watch through the scriptures and you will see the prayers of abraham prayers of moses 
prayers of uh, uh, David, prayers of Nehemiah. If you, Daniel, if you watch their prayers, you'll find an interesting trend. All of their prayers begin with a praise. All of their prayers begin with dwelling on the greatness of God. Prayer is an opportunity for you to adore God, to talk back to Him and tell Him who He is. Not that He doesn't know who He is, but it's, a, it's an acknowledgement in our prayer. We're acknowledging who God is and His power and all the good things that He has done in our lives. Uh, you, you will see the same trend all through the scriptures, all the way to the end of the scriptures. Prayer, the purpose of prayer is, of course, adoration. There's another purpose. Um, prayer, um, the purpose of prayer is also submission. When we are all powerless without prayer, you know that. We talked about it. So the second purpose of prayer is Mm, is to help us to realize how dependent we are on God, our dependency on God. In prayer, we are expressing our our total insufficiency, and and we are we are doing a complete submission to Him, and thus inviting Him to take total charge of our lives and our situations. Jesus tells us this uh, tells that truth. Um, even applied to him. In John chapter 5 verses 19 he says this, I tell you the truth, the son can do nothing by himself. He can only do what he sees his father doing. In the same, uh, in the same vein in chapter 15 of John verses 5, he tells us that we are, power, we are also powerless on our own. I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, then he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing, he said. So it's very simple. His example is clear. In order to know and to do God's will, Jesus had to depend on Father in prayer. And if he needed to pray, and if he needed to depend on God the Father through prayer, we certainly need to do it. We have... To, we are totally dependent on God and when we pray, we admit um, our dependence, we uh, admit our helplessness uh, and then we access His power through prayer. We are powerless without Him, remember that. So prayer, um, the first purpose of prayer is adoration. The second purpose of prayer is of course submission to tell Him God. We need you. We are totally dependent on you. Whatever you ask us to do, we will do. Uh, number three, and this is very important, prayer is for communication. You see, our relationships require us to pray. Our relationships with God require us to pray. The third purpose of prayer is effective communication with God, is for effective communication with God. Ever wondered why Jesus taught us to pray by saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. In the beginning of the prayer itself, Jesus taught us, a prayer is all about relating with Father, relating with God. Um, like a father comes, like a son who comes to his father. The connection. Listen to this. God doesn't need us to pray to give us what we need. You see, he calls us to pray because he knows that if he just gave us what we need without praying, we would never develop a deep relationship with him. Not that, you know, he doesn't like us. Not that he, uh, you know, uh, he can't do what we need for us uh, in every day's life. He just wants us to come and have a relationship with him. God wants an intimate, intimate relationship with each one of us. And, and in order to have intimacy in relationship, in communication is essential. That's the point. In order to know someone, if you want to know someone, you must talk to that person. If we don't get to know a person and how they think and what they like, what they don't like, you can never get to know that without communicating with them. 
in order to know the god's the will of god for our lives and god's will and god's ways and we uh, god's god's um, characters and uh, god's laws and commands we have to communicate with him in order to relate with him we must listen to him first it's um it's important for us to understand that it's uh, it's hard to believe that god is interested in us you know that he actually cares about us and because we don't really believe that we don't develop a deep communication and relationship with him you need to know this god deeply cares for you and he knows all your needs and he can meet all your needs he just wants you to have a relationship that is built by communication with him uh, on a regular basis um god can easily um pay your car payment you know god can easily give you uh, what you need to pay off your car payments or to pay off your debts or you know things like that he doesn't need um you know any specifically prompting any specific promptings for us to for him to do anything for us um he can help us when we need but he re- but what he really cares about is that we spend time with him and um, being with him when he loves us being around him and communicating with him like a child you know a father um, who who always wants to have his children around him he enjoys being with you basically that's what i mean so do the question is do you enjoy being with him that's the question do you enjoy being with god if you don't enjoy being with god you obviously won't communicate you have an, have no communication with him and there's no relationship with with him Uh, god is looking for deep relationships with us and that can only be developed through communications communication communicating with him every day so i'm challenging you to think about this today prayer is adoring who god is prayer is expressing our dependency on him and most importantly prayer is, is to communicate with him so that we can develop a deep relationship with him how do you pray why do you pray think about that today as you think through that if there are areas if there is um, um the, the you know things that you found um in your prayer the way you pray and the reasons you pray are wrong from what they are supposed to be change them um and god will help you um, and he will love to have a deep relationship with you develop it god bless you